Hello, my fitness friends. I miss you so much. I wanted to give you a quick little workout. I want you to repeat this three times. All you're gonna need is a big resistible and a smile on your face and some space. Get ready, pick up that ball. Here we go, down and up. Reach for the sky, do a little squat, reach for the ground. Put a smile on your face. Make sure the abs are engaged. You know me, I'm always telling you that. Keep reaching. And then we're gonna stretch out the side body. So you'll slide the ball side to side, leave it on the ground, reach one side to the other, stretching out your back. That should feel pretty good. One more each side. And then we're gonna get ready to stretch your back out. A little cat cow standing. Flex and extend your spine. Make sure you've got lots of movement in your back. And then a little cardio movement, some bouncing on the ball, get the heart rate up. Don't I have a lovely backdrop? I'm at my daughter's house. And now we're gonna do some jumping jacks. Yeehaw. Just a few more, getting the blood pumping. And we're about ready to begin. The first move here, as you can see, is a lunge. Now I wibbled and wobbled the first few times I did this. You're gonna do 10 on each leg. Remember that front knee the one that isn't on the ball, you're trying to keep the knee over the ankle as you slide the leg back. Lots of weight into the front heel as you drive up, squeeze your glutes. And now we'll switch legs and you'll see me wibble wobble even some more. There we go, 10. Oh, nope, nope, I couldn't do that one. Oh, I'm not sure that one's so good either. Let's try this again, 10, nine, eight, doesn't have to be perfect it just has to be done you'll be glad when it's over three more and done okay your next move is push-ups get behind the ball walk your hands out get your knees shins or feet on the ball keep your core strong back is straight Exhale each time you push back up from the ground. Doing great. Pop out those 10 super quick. Awesome. All right, here we go. Now we're doing I, Y, and T on the ball. Hips are on the ball. Arms will extend forward into that I position so your body is one long I. You're lifting from the floor to above your ears. This is for the back of your shoulder. It's very good for your posture and it helps with all the sitting that you do at desks and steering wheels and all that you need. Then you take your arms out at a Y. Y position next. Thumbs are up. Keep squeezing your shoulder blades together on your back. Make the most of this move. If you're feeling like that's too easy and you have some light weights in your house and I mean nothing more than three pounds, you'll be surprised how heavy that is. You can use those here as well. And then pretty soon coming up, we have the last one is the T. It's probably the easiest of the three, so you can definitely add weight here. Straight out to the side so your body is creating that T position. All right. And here we go now into the rollouts on the ball. Stand behind the ball, let your arms slide out. Your body has to stay straight from your shoulders to your knees. You're trying to push forward and back. There's very little movement at the hips. I'm not doing the best job I've ever seen either here, but oh, they're getting better too. So you can get better as well. Keep your core strong. Push really hard down into the ball with your forearms as you pull back. Last one, sweet. All right, pull the ball into your hips. We're going into back extensions. Rest your hips on the ball, fingertips behind the head, and lift your chest up off the ball. If you need more stability, you can always take the ball up against a wall and put your feet against the wall. 
That'll help keep anything from sliding out if you feel like you're slipping. Over time, you'll get much better at transitioning between these moves. All right, we're heading into more core work on the floor. Put that ball between your ankles. Toss it, drop it, toss it, drop it. This is so good for your inner thighs and your abdominals. It's also fun too if it doesn't get away from you. All right, we're coming into some tricky moves here. It's a V-sit along with triceps. Whoa, look at me. I'm teeter-tottering all over the place. You got this too. Find this place to balance. Squeeze your arms at the top. Abs are working super hard to hold you stable here. Everything are in amounts of 10, but your abs should be on fire here. More ab work on the way. Lay on your back, hold the ball, bring it over your head, and then pass it to your feet. Bring your feet down and your arms back over your head and keep going back and forth. That's right, 10 more of these. Make sure you're being careful with your low back. If you need to, you can bend the knees to take some of the tension out of the low back. And now remember, as you get through this the second or third time, it's going to be getting a little more challenging. The idea is to get through all of these exercises, one right after the other, fairly quickly. This one feels like a lot more, doesn't it? Hang in there, you're almost done. Here you go, last one. And then put your feet on top of the ball, bridging. Here we come. Get your heels in the center of the ball, knees directly over your hips, push down to the ball and lift up. You're going to feel this in your hamstring and your glutes. Last three and two and one. And oh my gosh, you are done. Congratulations.